talking about Y-DNA, which is found on the Y chromosome. And we use Y-DNA to trace the direct father line, your father's 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 side. So what is the Y chromosome? Human cells have 23 chromosome pairs. One of these pairs are the sex-defining chromosomes. Women have two X chromosomes in this pair. One is inherited from the mother and one is inherited from the father. But men have an X and a Y chromosome. The X is always inherited from the mother and the Y is always inherited from the father. The Y chromosome spans around 59 million base pairs and represents almost 2% of the total DNA in a human cell. It's estimated that the Y chromosome contains around 50 to 60 genes with information for making proteins. As only men carry the Y chromosome, these genes tend to be concerned with male sex determination and development. The Y chromosome is the single largest piece of DNA which is inherited as a block, and because it's always passed down from father to son, it makes it a really useful tool for determining your male ancestry. The Y chromosome is particularly interesting because it's inherited as a block, it means that there's only one mutation every one to two generations. This means that complete Y chromosome sequences should, in theory, allow us to reconstruct a family tree of all men on Earth accurate to a couple of generations. In reality, it's not as simple to read all the letters in the Y chromosome sequence. However, an accurate tree can be built. The Y chromosome DNA allows your direct male ancestor to be traced. You will inherit the same Y DNA as your father and his father and so forth. If a woman is interested in tracing her father line, the best step is to get her brother to be tested, as he will share both his mitochondrial DNA and his Y chromosome DNA, so they will share a mother line and a father line. Thanks very much for listening today and stay tuned for more information on genetics of ancestry testing.